Hey guys, welcome back. This is the last lesson, okay? Leadership series. This is Practical Leadership Lesson 4.9. And it's and this is the application. We've dug into all these um, words and the heavy weight of a call and been um, paired with the light weight of letting God carry it. And um, some of the exciting things that we can expect. And... Um, um, our eventual goal is to be one in mind with the Lord, right? And I was told to read these certain verses to you slowly. And I, you're supposed to like let these words sink in and think about them and how they now apply. Because now you have all this new information, okay? So 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 13. You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So with others through it, okay? You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, Sugubatheo, to suffer with others. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier and also if anyone competes in athletics he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules victor's crown that's what that one means the hard-working farmer must be first to partake of the crops consider what i say and may the lord give you understanding in all things this is being one with god Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble, Gacapathia, as an evil doer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things, or stay behind, Hupameno, for the sake of the elect that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Jesus Christ with eternal glory. This is a faithful saying. For if we died with him, we should also live with him. And if we endure, stay behind and press on, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. James 5, 7 through 11. Okay, in this verse, the first three patients are macrothermeo, which is pressing on with very slow um, pressures and not getting angry. Okay, therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently, for until it receives the early and latter rain, you also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering and patience. So this is um, Kakapathia and Macrothomea. So all the little weird sufferings and being patient without anger. That one. Indeed, we count them blessed who endure. Hupameno, stay behind and endure. You have heard of the perseverance of Job, Hupamone, through God's power, and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. 1 Corinthians 4, 11 through 13. To the present hour we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, doikio, chaste, we endure to the end with faith. Being defamed, we entreat. We have been made as the filth of the world, the offscouring of all things until now. First Peter 5, 2. Shepherd, or feed God's sheep, shepherd the flock of God, which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly, nor as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. This examples is the stamped impression from the original. Um, so we're being Christ-like 
to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Ephesians 6, 8, praying at all times with all prayer and supplication to that end, keep alert, which means without sleeping to stay awake with all perseverance, which is the one that is with God's power. We continue to um, help others and persevere, making supplication for the saints. Colossians 4, 2 to 6, continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. So to continue earnestly is to continue on with perseverance when something is difficult and strong and you need strength to get through it. In prayer, be vigilant. This is a night watchman who does not sleep at night and keeps watch for everyone else. Meanwhile, praying also for us that God would open us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Romans 12:12, 12, 12, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. So staying behind, patient, in tribulation, philipsis, that's that feeling of pressure, continuing steadfastly, so this is continuing on when things are hard and difficult, in prayer. Okay, I'm going to give you now a little review of the leadership process with the graphic. All right, the leadership overview. Have Christ in you. Jesus, sheep, hear and follow his voice. Walk as he walked. Be obedient in all things. Conform to the image of Christ. Have a passion for the mission. Commit your works to the Lord and he will act. Be in step with the Spirit. Be walking in prayer. Stay alert to the enemy. Endure under any trial. Pray in confidence. Desire to be a conduit. Be an instrument of righteousness. Have strong perseverance through interacting with God. Be a living sacrifice. Stay pure before God. Be one with God. And be used in a mighty way. Okay. So I was told the other day, like after I'm almost done with this whole entire series, that, and, and you should know, that the subscriber count is, you know, it's okay. And the people who watch like prophecy videos that are very titillating because they want to know the future. Those are really high ranked. I mean, I have a lot of, of views on those. But this series, it started out to be like the mid-level of most of my followers. And then it just kept shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, which is fine. Because I'm called to do it. I'm going to do it either way. But what I was told to tell you is super cool. Those of you who organically began watching this and kept watching this. No one told you to come back and watch it. Okay. And it's before the war. You people are going to be the true leaders in the end times. Okay. Because you have the discipline and you crave the information and you are looking with all of your soul to follow what God wants you to do. So you really are going to be the leaders. Okay. So I found that to be really encouraging and really cool. Um, I really truly hope you've learned many skills you didn't have and many things you didn't know about. And um, a lot of this isn't like shareable information because people that aren't going to be leaders, A, don't need it. And B, they won't believe it. <laughs> I guarantee you that. So um, I just feel like you should feel really blessed that the Lord chose you to convict you to watch this whole thing. Okay. The point is, this is a special calling. Okay. And I really honestly um, am happy that only the people that God has selected have seen it all the way through. And um, 
I, I pray blessings over you. I have been praying from the beginning, but I will continue to play, pray blessings over you so that you may be successful to the end. Okay. So some of you have requested the printed format. The PDF link will be under this description box and you'll be able to go to the website and download the entire document. It's over hundred pages. It has to be spaced the way it is and all of that to be big enough on the screen um, to do uh, the video the way it is. So I can't take the time to adjust that all back to like human levels of smaller. But the fact is that if you would like the information, totally available and um, have blessings and I'll see you soon.